Hello and welcome to ICG Trends. Uh, today, in this video, I'm solving a question from Microsoft Word that was uh, included in the sample uh, model question paper of computer operator examination. Uh, this PDF file uh, containing five different sets of uh, practical model questions where uh, is available to download uh, from ICG10s.com. Uh, please visit there if you don't have this file already. Each model set contains uh, questions from all the chapters as prescribed in the syllabus. And uh, today, in this video, I'll be solving the uh, first question from the first uh, set, from sample set one. I'm solving the uh, question number A uh, perform following tasks in MS Word. So uh, the question asks us to enter the text for two max. The text is given here. And second, uh, it asks uh, to uh, apply drop cap format uh, with the algebraic font and uh, uh, the space between the drop cap and uh, text as 0.4 uh, inches. Similarly, the third uh, part of this question is to apply the columns layout with uh, different column widths and the fourth one uh, to apply border and shading on the paragraph the fifth one is to uh, apply indent from the left and right and the sixth one is to uh, set the header similarly the footnote given header and footnote we have to apply it in the document so this question I'm showing it here I'll be solving this question using the MS Word 2003. And here, uh, because the first question is about uh, uh, typing the uh, text, uh, so I've typed the text here already. Uh, there's nothing much to do here on this first question. Um, but uh, what you should, uh, but what you should uh, take care is uh, the text you type on MS Word. Uh, must look somehow similar to the uh, text in the question paper. You'll pay attention to the uh, text formats uh, like bold, italic, underline, mm, or superscript, subscript, outline, strike through, those formats you will mm, take care of and uh, try to make the paragraphs also look a bit similar to the question paper. Now, looking at the question paper, the paragraphs are not uh, adjacent they are not joined with each other there's a big gap between the first paragraph and second paragraph similarly a big gap between the second and third paragraph that means paragraph spacing is applied and in our text we type here there's no paragraph spacing so let me apply the paragraph spacing because I need to apply it for the three paragraphs I select the paragraph otherwise paragraph format doesn't need to be selected uh, format paragraph on the paragraph dialog box, we will apply the six points before and six points after. And the lines between paragraph appear to be one and a half line. So line spacing, let me make it one and a half line line spacing and click OK. So the paragraph now looks like this one. And uh, the text uh, on the second paragraph, this first one ST, the character ST is superscripted in question paper. So hold your control shift on keyboard and press equals to sim, uh, equals to key. This will superscript the first. Similarly, uh, we have other text to superscript such as this uh, second two ND. Hold control and select this RD. Hold control. Don't release the control and select this TH. And uh, similarly here ST. So this way, if you select multiple uh, multiple text, then you can press Control Shift and equals to to make all of them superscripted all at once. So these characters are superscripted, and uh, the next thing you need to do is uh, a computer. That's here, personal computer. So just that, a computer. So this word must be underlined. Hold Control and press U. So computer is underlined. And these uh, character formatting you can do while you are typing, or you can do after after typing also. 
but it's better to format while you are typing because uh, when you finish typing and start formatting you may skip some of the uh, formats uh, uh, existing in the question paper okay uh, this much was task uh, required for the first question for two max now let's look at the second question mm, create a drop cap for first paragraph drop it two lines down with Algerian font and there should be 0.4 inch space between dropped character and paragraph okay for this question uh, we need to clear the drop cap of the first paragraph place your insertion line inside paragraph somewhere anywhere inside this uh, first paragraph then uh, to apply a drop cap we need to go to the format menu and then go to drop cap menu so this is a drop uh, dialog box for drop cap uh, we need to drop it by two lines so select the dropped and make it by two lines and then uh, the font it specified is Algerian so open the font list I typed Algeri and uh, found this Algerian at the same time 0 0.4 inch space between the dropped so distance from text must be 0 0.4 inches so click OK. So this was all the question asked about the number two. It was for one max. We have done it. And on the number three, present second paragraph in three columns with a line between each column. So second paragraph has to be presented with three columns. Uh, select your second paragraph. If you do not select, the column format may apply to the whole document. You need to pay special uh, attention when uh, what is selected there and they apply to drop down box if you do not select. If you select and go and open your dialog box, then automatically the selected text will be um, chosen on the drop down list. So let's go to the columns dialog box now. Format menu and columns menu. It will open the columns dialog box. See, look at here, apply to the selected text because we had already selected our second paragraph and opened the dialog box. And uh, we require three columns. So we choose three. And uh, the first and third columns will be one inch wide and the second column uh, four inch. So our column width, the first column, second column and third column, they are not of equal size. So we need to remove this equal column width drop down box. And for the first column, it asks us to set one inch. And for second column, is required four inch. And the third column, we need uh, one inch again. But because the spacing is larger, we need here 4 inch 0.25 reduce it make it 1 inch 1 inch and click OK 1 for 1 uh, that means there is there will be no space between them to set it 1, 4 and 1 inch first column, second column, third column uh, if, you, if there is any uh, value on the spacing the current width of the uh, page or the current width of the text area doesn't allow you to uh, provide any space between the columns so it's okay and what it says and place a line between the line between each columns simply put a mark on this checkbox line between and click ok so this will create the three columns with one inch on the left uh, four inch on the middle and one inch on the right though on the text it doesn't uh, appear to have three columns mm, but look at the ruler this is the first column and four inches middle column and one inches right column because there is no more text for the right column it uh, displays only on the two columns no problem that was what question asked okay this was uh, what as question asks and on the uh, for the fourth question apply 
uh, gray color background and double line border around the third paragraph borderline should be of blue color and one and a half inch thick okay for this third paragraph apply color background and double line border we need to go to the border and shading sorry select this paragraph go to format menu border and shading and on the uh, shading because we need to apply gray color background so on the shading uh, from the color choose a gray color uh, for background apply to must be paragraph remember and on the border we need uh, and double end border of one and a half thick so choose double line from this list and thickness must be one and a half this one of uh, color which color it has asked us um, border end around the third paragraph should be of blue color okay color is should be blue so from color choose the blue and click ok so for on the third paragraph, blue color, double line border, gray color field inside the paragraph. So this was the uh, for one for one marks of question number five. And finally, for question number six, enter history of computer technology as header. So we should apply the header, history of computer. Go to the view menu and header and footer menu on the header let me press the tab here once to go to the center and type S I S T O R Y of computer sorry technology this is the header and following footnote uh, for the unrun word okay this one's for the header so simple and click close the header is set for your document and finally, the second part of the six, uh, question number six asks you to enter following footnote for the underlined word in the third paragraph. So on the third paragraph, we have underlined word is this computer. Place your insertion line just after the word computer. And to insert footnote, go to the insert menu. To, to insert footnote, uh, click on the insert menu. And then let me open this menu. And from the insert, choose reference and inside reference, select the menu footnote. Uh, so all we need to do is to insert a footnote. That's the bottom of page, no problem. The question doesn't ask us to switch for anything else other than just applying the footnote. Mm, we can click insert here. A small mark will be placed just after that word computer here, this one. And your cursor jumps to the footnote area, the bottom of the page area, with the same symbol. And here you will type the footnote text, E-A-R-L-Y, early programming languages where machine dependent. Okay, this was the text required for the footer. So finally, when you have done all these things, the question number six also finished. So after you have done all these, uh, what your question asks here now save it as word uh, underscore your symbol number in your folder so finally let me save this file file save as on the desktop there should be my folder but because I haven't created any folder yet let me create a new folder and Type my symbol number. Okay, now it's the uh, I'm inside the folder. Mm. The name of my document will be word word underscore my symbol number five one zero zero three two and save it. That's all about the solution of this uh, first question, question number one.
Uh, thank you for watching.